most most of the agencies in Kanawha County, we had to hold them back. You know, they were just, we'd get water to them, they'd distribute it. Uh, I just, Almost every fire department, one way or another, was involved some way, along with a lot of other agencies that I can't name off the top of my head. Uh, but that just shows how good it is here, because people want to step up and help. Luckily, we're in Kanawha County, and luckily we're in West Virginia, because a lot of agencies stepped up to assist. We gave out water at different places, and, I, I, and I'm going to miss a lot, but for example, uh, Pinch and Sissonville and all these other different fire departments set up distribution centers so we could take truckloads of water up there, unload them, and it was so easy people didn't have to get out of the car. Commission employees and uh, uh, sheriff's deputies and different people out there you know, putting water in cars. Th that, was, that was the biggest help was everybody stepped up to participate and give us a hand. It took a while because there was a lot of mistrust in the public. A lot of folks did not trust the water, and I think to this day there are probably people who don't trust the water. I do. One of the things we've learned is how important it is for a water system. Uh, you know, the do not use order was for drinking purposes, but what happens if we lose our water system now? You know, most of our water we use at home is not for drinking. It's for flushing toilets, it's washing clothes, uh, bathing, things of that nature. And what we drink is just a small part of what we use from our water system. Water is the hardest commodity to have on hand to last you that long. So we understand how important it is for our water system to be, be good.